guys, Brent Abel here, Web Tennis, and uh, I've got two points I want to show you from the same doubles match um, with with both teams and deploying the same play. And that is really going to be how the net player here moves without the ball to really create uh, problems from the opponent. And you know what we're going to see here is uh, is a serve. Uh, a lob return and now what I want you to keep watching here is this player and this I want you to think about you being in this position here where you're up at net your partner can't get in for whatever reason and now your partner has the ball again this is you up here and this is your partner and what I want you looking for is this situation where your partner drives the ball directly up, not not going cross court, but directly up to the player in front of them. And if you can sense that the ball is going to be down low, I want you to move towards that player. And lots of times what happens, I mean, you're so close in here, there's really not an angle available over here for this opponent. Really the only shot is going to be able to come back here. And lots of times what happens is you end up creating an unforced error with your movement. You know, if you just simply, if you stand here the whole time, and even though your your partner here, here hits a good ball, a good drive, right at this opponent, you know, again, not trying to go for the winner here, not trying to go for the middle, not trying to do something fancy cross court, but just taking this ground stroke, in this case a forehand, and really tying up uh, the volley technique over there. If you just stand here, you can see from this, you know, from this visual right here, this player here has got just so much court to work with. But if your partner gets the ball down, you really want to be closing and looking for something not only that gets popped up, but that your presence is going to, you know, really sort of force that that unforced air. Now let's look at the same situation here. With the with the opposing team, and what we're to see is the same exact thing right here. Watch this now. Okay, this player forehand is going to go right back to this player right here, and again we've got you. This is you right here, lurking, thinking that your partner's not going winner not going winner, not some kind of fancy winner over here, but going directly at the opponent, at the net player, and your job is to close. Your job is to close and really cause concern in this player right here that if they pop it up, that you right here, that you're going to be there to clean up. And and there you have it. So again, th that's, that's two Two points, the exact same example, from different teams deploying the same kind of strategy. So, you know, it's really crucial that as a doubles player, when you're up at net, you don't have the ball, your partner's got the ball, that you really start looking for opportunities, you know, to, to close at that player, at that opponent who's, who's having to receive that ball. Obviously, if the ball is up high, you know, that's a different situation. And sometimes you take your, you know, sometimes you take a risk by closing, not knowing, you know, in this case here, you know, this, this is you, you don't know, you know, you really don't know if your partner here is going to, you know, put you in danger with kind of a high floater. You're just assuming that they're going to be able to keep it low and go right at that opponent and that you're going to be able to do something in there. So right below the video, I want to hear from you. Give me some comments, some feedback. Tell me about you as a doubles player. You know, you're up at net. You know, what are the big challenges you've got with something like this? You know, or if you're the player in the backcourt and you're really trying to set up, you're really trying to do that, what we call, quote unquote, play for your partner. You know, let me know what's going on with this play when you're out there playing doubles. Thank you.